KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll do a quick recap of the day today. Still had a pretty good spread in temperatures, depending on where you were. If you're up in the hills, above the cool air, middle and upper 80s. And down in town, Santa Cruz 75 and a 68 in Wattsville. 60s, though, the general rule across the entire peninsula, 61 in PG. Marina and Seaside all in the low 60s with very little, if any, sunshine. Low 60s also in Monterey. Low 70s, Carmel Valley and Big Sur. Inland, pretty nice. Uh, middle and upper 70s to low 80s down in King City. And a 66 here in Salinas. Uh, if you were up in the north and east bay, uh, down into San Jose, a little warmer. Uh, some low to mid 80s, Morgan Hill, Gilroy, and 75 in San Jose in the Santa Clara Valley. 77 for Tahoe today. Central Valley actually looking pretty good. At least, let's say the northern half uh, of the Central Valley from Fresno northward. It was 80s, low to mid 90s. You get down into Bakersfield and Palm Springs, middle and upper 90s to uh, triple digits. So again, still pretty hot out there at 111 in Palm Springs. We had a uh, 60s and 70s coast side down to San Diego, but the ocean breeze is taking care of that. Also 60s now, LA and San Diego, 65 to 68 with a 95 over in Redding. The uh, rest of the country, pretty warm, summer-like, nothing major in terms of heat, unless you're out, again, in the desert southwest, 107 in Phoenix right now, 80s in Denver, 80 in Bismarck, so it's pretty warm, 78 in Chicago, and unfortunately, we've had the showers and thunderstorms erupting, cold front right here, uh, producing, in some cases, tornadoes, and we've had Actually had quite a few of those today. Uh, 17 tornadoes last 24 hours. With that, you get your hail, your wind damage, and uh, with the thunderstorms, of course, you also get some wind gusts, uh, so some higher gusts around those bigger storms. Most of the tornadoes have been Wisconsin, Iowa, and Illinois pushing out from parts of Nebraska earlier today. That front will continue to slowly weaken overnight tonight. High pressure, you can see northerly winds, a little drying there kind of just eroding the marine layer a little bit. There's a little pocket here. We're right down here, by the way, so I don't think that's quite going to reach us. It may help us out tomorrow with getting the uh, low clouds out of here a little earlier, uh, but overall we'll still have them tonight. High pressure is building in. That tends to squash the marine layer down a little bit. Again, you can see that drying up to our north, and some of that will lead into warmer temperatures tomorrow. It's uh, for Thursday, Friday. By Friday night into Saturday, area of low pressure comes by. Marine layer ramps back up and we're cooling again. So kind of an up and down with temps uh, the next few days, but nothing major. Uh, Friday, Thursday, your warmest couple of days. Again, all the warming is really inland. We're not talking about warming by the coast. Still going to have a sea breeze and all of that. Some cool air starts coming back in. It looks like over the weekend, which will lift up the low clouds. And we'll have plenty of that as we head towards Sunday and Monday. Again, low clouds around the bay, patchy fog, little mist, little drizzle. We'll back that off. We're hoping for a little earlier clearing tomorrow in some cases, and uh, we'll put it in for sunshine there around the peninsula. We'll see how it goes. Marine layer can be tricky. Microcast show and the breeze will lighten up overnight. It will mostly be a light and variable in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, though, your west to northwest wind comes in. Moss Landing to Monterey, your strongest winds, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Uh, the bay will be uh, whipped on up pretty good. 49 to 57 overnight. Uh, again, some patchy fog with this and the low clouds. Everybody will get in on that later tonight. And your coast, mid 60s to middle 70s. So uh, pretty tempered. You know, if you're one of the folks that likes the cooler stuff, stay near the bay. 70s and 80s, a little warmer tomorrow for the valleys, mild to warm. Again, most of you will see 80s, a few of the hottest spots over 90 down towards the pinnacles. 66 San Francisco, 70s in Fremont though, 75 in Mountain View. And the Santa Clara Valley again, uh, middle 80s should do it. Gilroy, Morgan Hill, about 80 in San Jose tomorrow. So that's a pretty nice summer day. And a mix of uh, 70s and 80s going down the Salinas Valley. Again, King City about 84. So that's not too warm uh, for the end of June. And at the coast, steady as she goes. Middle 60s, I uh, could see a degree or two of warming over what we had today because we we'll, should see a little more sunshine on the peninsula. Mid 70s, Santa Cruz, still some middle and upper 80s though up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. So again, warm, but not what I'll call hot for this time of year. 72 for Watsonville. Your KSPW eight day forecast uh, will take you through what for some will be a four day holiday weekend, being that the uh, fourth is on Tuesday. Uh, looks like low clouds will be plenty for especially Sunday and Monday, which could linger into Tuesday for the uh, fireworks stuff, at least at the coast and mid 70s to middle 80s. The hottest spots will be in the low 90s on Friday 
and then back in the temps down on Sunday and Monday with more marine air and cooler temps. Monday and Tuesday, your July 4th, low 70s to low 80s. Pretty nice for the valleys. Pretty nice. Yeah, there you Pretty go. Nice. Okay.